feel like I'm gonna get diabetes after this. Ooh, ah. They might have a lawsuit on their hands with this one. Aww. So it's an Italian fortune cookie. Italians know what's up. So we're starting off the year here with uh, a way of ruining our New Year's resolution and diet four days in. Uh, we're gonna be doing 24 different Italian snacks. Uh, these are snacks from all over Italy. Some of which we've had, some of which we didn't have. This is illegal in America now, did you Kinder, know that? Kinder toys, yeah. Don't, don't eat toys, people. Let's get started with something to drink because in case something gets a little uh, difficult to swallow later on, we'll have something to wash it down with. So this is a San Pellegrino Kino Soda. Now, Kino is a lot like uh, like a lemon and an orange kind of combination, so we're gonna try this first. Oh, it is dark, wow. So it's more deceiving. It looks like Coke, but it's not. Yeah, it's weird because you would get the impression that it's a lemon or an orange, so the color should reflect that, but it actually looks a lot like Coca-Cola. Doesn't really taste like Coca-Cola either. It smells refreshing. It tastes like old school gum. Old school, old school gum and Jaeger. I don't know why. Yeah, I can see Jaeger. It's like non-alcoholic Jaeger. Okay, uh, we need something sweet. So let's go. So I've had this brand before, Matilde Vicenzi. I'm gonna butcher so many of these names. I never had this flavor. The struggle to open everything. Whoa, almost. Oh, damn, these look cool. They're, They're glazed. Really cool. Very glazed, sticky on top. Mmm. Mm. Very flaky. So sweet. Our dog is very jealous right now. We should wait. <clears throat> I'm joking. <clears throat> I don't want to drink that. <laughs> These right now are deceptively good because they're so flaky and, and they feel like they're filled with air. I can imagine a lot of people wanting to try and eat as many as possible thinking, oh, there's not that many calories. We're going to go for the next thing, a drink here. So because, oh, yeah. So that you have something because I think I'll suffer through this one for us. We have our awesome 81-year-old uh, neighbor and the first time when we moved in here a year ago, she gave me one of these and I'm like, oh no, I, I don't want any because it was still early on. But this has no alcohol and it's called a gingerino. So it's kind of like a non-alcoholic spritz, you can say. Like the Aperol spritz a lot of people drink, but this is like the non-alcoholic version. This smells really good citrusy. Mm. So if you like Aperol spritz, you'll love this. Mm. Yeah, he doesn't like Aperol spritz. I'm gonna <laughs> stick with my um, old man soda. Oh, no, that's no good. <laughs> Next one, next one, next one. Let's keep up with the chocolate stuff here. I'm gonna go with these cookies. These are like Peter Pan cookies, I guess they call them. So I kept seeing these all over. Like these are like the best cookies. Like whenever you see online, everyone always recommends you bring some of these home. But I don't know, I don't know if you've had these before. Uh, weirdly enough, I have had the cereal here before. When I came here the first time, I like to eat cereal, so when we went to the Italian store to get groceries, I tried their cereal, and uh, yeah, it was just like eating cookies and cream for breakfast. Ooh. These so are have... also very, very light. So they do look like the picture. These are dangerously good. Mm -hmm. Like, you can kill a dozen of those. Mm. I'm gonna go for something that maybe, hopefully, some of you have seen. I've only seen this in Italy, so it's called pocket coffee. Italians take their caffeine very seriously. And in the winter, they have these, which are chocolates filled with an espresso shot. In the summertime, they don't have these. And they actually have it in a plastic container because the chocolate would melt. But these are a lifesaver if you want some quick shot of caffeine. And there's no coffee machine near you. Yeah, we love these for road trips because basically it's like a shot of espresso and a piece of candy, so. Pro tip. Don't make the same mistake he did. Don't bite into it like that. With your mouth open. Yeah, because... <laughs> because it's gonna pour out everywhere, so you gotta be really, really quick. And also, these are made by, uh, I think, Ferrero. So it's a factory, I think, like two hours from us. Perfect. So small. You get just the pure taste of coffee, just as soon as you bite in, so 10 out of 10. If I have to choose, it's not gonna be the Kinder, because I'm too old for that. You're never too old for Kinder. It's gonna be these. These are called baba. So these are like donut holes that are soaked in alcohol. And this one in particular I saw at the store because it's soaked in limoncello. I had to have these. Now the trick to open it. Without spilling this everywhere. So these, I think this is like 12 or 14% alcohol. So do not give these to your kids. Yeah, this is. <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> Our dog's gonna be so happy after this Ooh, video. Uh, that was, wow. Was that like a shot of lemoncello? You got slapped with lemoncello. 
all this wow oh yeah that's straight up lemon mmm ooh my taste buds don't know what's happening because it's, it's like, sweet but limey yeah very limey mm. very alcoholic mm. tasting so like that will get you drunk and uh, fat fat at the, <laughs> at the same time next I want to go for something that's familiar but not so familiar. I think this is the first time I've ever seen Oreos here. I've never had these in my life. Anywhere we've been to? I don't think, have you? Well, they got snowflakes on them, so they might just be something from around the holidays right now. I love how this is Perfect. gonna turn probably into a dessert dinner. Ooh, no, this is already, this looks like, this smells like a white chocolate dipped oh. Oreo. When you want something sweet. Mm. But these are not made in America. No, I haven't seen these, unless they're new in the US. They look just like the picture. They don't taste as sweet as they smell. Next, I'm gonna go for these because I've always had these when I was a kid. Never had them here in Italy though. Oh, they're a lot smaller than I thought. They're like these little tiny... Like we have these that you can buy like at a regular store, yeah. but they're like really tall. Yeah, they have really long ones in the US. These ones yeah. are much shorter. They're not as sweet. So something you'll notice comparing, like eating for example snacks in America, stuff here, has less sugar in it. It's not as sweet, so it almost tastes healthy. But don't let that fool you. That just gives people the smoke screen or the idea mm. that they can eat a lot more of them. They do love their sweets here though. That's they something do. we did notice. So I'm gonna go for something that I, I never had this, but it's this quick. Shake it and then enjoy. So I never had the, like a ready-made. Is there like a straw like No, there was no straw. You just are supposed to open oh, okay. it. Oh, oh, there's like a little slit inside there for you to... Oh, there we go. So you can see the little slit. Oh, yeah. Mmm. This tastes better than what I remember as a kid. Tastes better than what you remember? Wow. I think so. Nice. Chocolate milk. It tastes a lot lighter. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as heavy. I don't know. Maybe I didn't mix it well or I just added too much powder to my milk. When I was a kid, yeah, that was my problem too. It looks like a Christmas present. This thing. The Sebast Tarone Friabile. So... Looks like some sort of a nougat bar with hazelnuts. The packaging for the chocolate or this nougat here is better than any gift I've ever been able to wrap. It's double, double wrapped. Two hours later. Finally. You can't get too fat eating these because you just can't open them. Oh, All good. right. It's already, it's already pre-broken. It's definitely not pre-broken. I broke it because I was trying to struggle to get this thing open, but it's like this really thick, hard, bar. I feel like I can break something. It looks like a giant marshmallows with a bunch of hazelnuts. Oh, this is a crispy one. Oh, Ooh. geez. <laughs> it just looks like it's pure sugar. Mm. Usually I get the soft ones, but this is different. I like this better. We got about 20 other things to eat here. All right, let's go for something cold. Oh, these are cold? Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is, I've never had this before. It's, it's from Kinder. And it's K Maxi King. So it looks like a little ice cream sandwich um, with hazelnuts inside. Everything's got hazelnuts. <laughs> the other thing is, okay. if, you, if you notice, the word nocciola in Italian is hazelnut. So a lot of the snacks here today are gonna have hazelnuts. They just love hazelnuts and everything. Probably even more than chocolate. It's true. I would say that Italians love cho chocolate and hazelnut probably as much as they do soccer. Everything looks like the picture. So far, it's been very promising. Yes. Mmm. It's like a marshmallow cookie. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you would think it's like ice cream or something because it looks like there's cream, but it's like a cookie, but it's a very soft cookie. You know what it reminds me of? A chocolate kinder. It reminds me of a crunch bar. Okay, yeah, like a cold frozen one. If you, put a, if you took a cold mm -hmm. crunch bar and you put a marshmallow in the middle. Mm. That's what this tastes like. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Next, I want to go with these. These are a kind of Cook prosciutto chip. They're not chips. So they're like little breads. You won't be able to hear us, sorry. Oh. Okay. Yes, perfect. So in Italy, I noticed they love like when you get a drink, you get like your aperitivo, it's called. Like when you get a drink, you'll either get like nuts or chips or little biscuits or something. 
So, and they love flavored ones. So I was able to find prosciutto flavored uh, crackers. That's crackers. Like what I was thinking. That's what they are, crackers. And I've never seen these before. They look super cool, super unique. Um, and let's see if they taste like prosciutto. Yep. The one not sweet thing here. Mmm. Mm. Wow. They really do taste like prosciutto. Oh my god, mm. I'm gonna eat another one. Mm. Now I have my Aperol or my gingerino. Alright, I'm gonna go for something that I know you don't like. But these are the OG. Oh my god, there's three in here. We only need one. So these are the OG ones. Not the ones we have in America now where it's like uh, the, the plastic, you have to scoop it out. That's not Kinder, I'm sorry. I didn't have these growing up, so I can't really relate. So you gotta... Oh, it cracked. It's okay. Oh. Also, this is a dino edition, so the toy is dinosaurs. Mm, let's see. Mm. It's like no chocolate on the outside, white chocolate on the inside. Then go for the toy. Let's see what the toy is. Something I have to put together, some kind of a giant robot character, like an off-brand Power Ranger. Oh, it is an off-brand Power Ranger. <laughs> I'm not putting this together. This is a this is a food video. This is nothing to do with Kinder Toys. Why don't we go with these? Tronky, which is, <laughs> this sounds like an insult you call somebody. <laughs> Tronky, right? And yet again, it's got hazelnuts inside, so. It seems to be the theme of tonight's It seems snack. like 80% of the snacks here have hazelnut inside. This, and that's, that, that was not intentional. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is like a little tiny crispy wafer bar type thing. This Ooh. is pretty cool. Mm. Oh yeah. It's not as sweet. You would think with this much cream and everything, it would be like super... You know why? I think it's the hazelnuts. I think the hazelnuts cut out a lot of the sweetness, which is why they mix it with chocolate. So let's go for something that's not sweet. Uh, Campagnola country recipe. So we'll see. I love that one of the things when you travel, you can try different countries, different lays, like the international. Ooh, look at Damn, that. look at the size of this mutant chips. All of them are mutant chips. Look but at they're this. They're not they're... broken, which is nice. Yeah, but you know what? They did pick up after America and there's only still half the bag full of chips. The rest of it's still air. Oh my God. Wow, those are good. There's onion, some type of like, you feel the herb, take feel the herb. Taste the herbs. Definitely good, it's definitely good barbecue chips. Mm. I think that's really good for barbecue. I'm gonna go with this weird pudding. It's a mousse. Caramello. New see, mousse caramello. See, there you go. That's not hazelnut. No, it's not. Very, very light. Very jiggly. Mmm. So. It's like a creme brulee. Is it? Yeah. It tastes like creme brulee. Ooh. Mmm. Oh my god, you know you can see pieces of caramel in there. Yeah, it's like a creme brulee mm. mousse. It's very, very good. Wow, that's delicious. So these candy. Coffee candy? I know, from Lavazza. I never had these. I've never seen these. I did say the Italians do like their coffee. Coffee, chocolate, and hazelnut. If there's anything you want to sum up with Italian snacks, it's those things. And prosciutto. As soon as you like taste it, like the coffee taste. Yeah. I want to see the inside. It's like if you turned a coffee bean into a piece of candy. Mmm. When you bite it open, there's like a jello inside, like a cream of coffee. Mm. Um, so we have we have a few things left, and I think we could probably handle it. Maybe 24 for 24 <laughs> for the new yeah, year. Yeah, we're. I don't know if we're gonna be able to eat dinner after this one, but we're gonna power through it. So I don't want to pick another nocciola thing. I there's a lot of nocciola. Let's go with these things. What are these things? These look like kids' candies or candies you see at the dollar store. I saw a bunch of kids getting these, so I was like, why not? These look interesting. It's soccer and candy, the two things. I mean, soccer Italy. candy, yeah. <laughs> they look like, you know what they look like? They look like erasers. Yeah, they look like you're eating an eraser. Very soft. I did get this in the food section. <laughs> it's not an eraser. Ooh, very chewy. Mm -hmm. Very mild flavor of strawberry. What I love, <laughs> this is really funny about it. So this is very clearly an Italian candy, but I love that the flavor, it says, it says the word flavor in Italian, which is giusto, but it doesn't say what it is in Italian. It says milk and berry in English. So it says giusto milk and berry. Let's go, I'm gonna go for what you avoided, which is more hazelnuts. These are like, these reminded me of Twinkies. Or like, not Twinkies, those Swiss are... Swiss rolls. Yeah. Swiss rolls, they look like Swiss yeah, rolls. Yeah, they don't sure. have that in Italy. It's like the healthy Italian version. Yeah. Ooh, again, it's exactly like the picture. Italians know what's up, look at that. They might have a lawsuit on their hands with this one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks exactly like, oh, there's, there's chocolate everywhere. Mm. It's a Swiss roll. You don't taste the hazelnuts, you just, it just tastes like cream. 
It's very, very delicate. Like, so it's coated on the outside with chocolate and the inside is just like the spongy cake rolled up, but it's yeah. just, it's so delicate that the chocolate, as soon as you bite it, it just starts falling apart. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely good. Mm. It definitely reminds me of Swiss rolls though. We gotta go back to Nutella now. I tried to find the smaller packaging version of these, but all they had was like family size. Nutella is king here as well. Yeah, you're never gonna, you're never gonna find that Nutella has run out in Italy. It's just always gonna be available. And the sizes they have of Nutella. Yep. Like I've seen jars. Oh my God, I think it had to be like two liters. Mm. Nutella is just something. There's something mm. in there, the secret sauce. The biscuit's nice. It's very like crumbly. No, not, not too dry with some coffee. Oh my God. Yeah, it's really good. Some milk. It's really good. So one, Back to the savory. One, the last thing that's I think not, not sweet. So these are porchetta chips, which is essentially like a pig that's roasted on a fire with a bunch of herbs. It's like a Tuscan thing. Yeah. If you watch our other videos, we actually eat this in Tuscany, the actual meat. But these are the chips. So this is like a, a cold cut that you'll see on sandwiches all throughout Italy if you go to the Not always a cold cut. Oh. oh. You can have it hot. It okay. smells very herby on the outside. Oh, oh my yeah. God. If you brought these to a party, you'd be popular instantly. These might be like my top three favorite chips. The smell is just... What's interesting is if you look at the pig, on the outside they show the herbs next to the pig. When you smell the chip, it smells like the herbs. When you eat the chip, it, it tastes, tastes like the pig. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they did that. Some sorcery. Yeah. We got three things left. We can do this. So bocce, super popular. I mean, if you want to get candy from Italy, you got to get bocce. Amaretto flavored. Why does it look like a pack of cigarettes on the outside? This is very Italian. Half the struggle is trying to figure out how to open the package. Yeah, what is the deal? Oh, I feel sick already. It's okay, we got this. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about diabetes. I don't want to eat anything sweet probably till like June. Oh, there's like a... Ooh, wish yeah. on the inside. Look at this thing. It's definitely dark chocolate. Oh, so you make a wish. So it's in Italian and in English, and it says, I wish you days full of smiles and nights full of dreams. Aww. So it's an Italian fortune cookie, a fortune candy, Italian fortune candy. Um, I wish you a sky full of mm. desires, all for you. Very selfish, but I like it. I like it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, top is like a little Whoa. hazelnut. <laughs> And I think the amaretto kind of implies that there's a cherry flavor to it because they're definitely a cherry flavor. Like the aftertaste, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Well, this is, it's very nice. We'll go with this uh, galatine. I don't know what that means. With Italian milk, okay. Oh, wow, it's like a smarty. It looks like a smarty. It just tastes like Tums to me, sweet Tums. It's like a milk flavored tart uh, Smarty. Why would you make that? This is my least favorite thing to try yeah. today. I, I don't understand how this is candy. Maybe one of those old people candies. These, I, this brand makes a ton of different croissants, different cookies, different pastries. These look more interesting. These, I, I don't think we've tried these before. Mm. So I went for this. But if you come here and you go to the store or if you see this brand, they're very, very good. So definitely buy from them. But let's see these. Watch, we don't like these, and I just like promoted them. Oh. And I like this because you can have it on the go, so you don't have to eat like let it waste away. One of the beautiful things about Italy is the road trips, which we do a ton of, and you having subscribe. and and having uh, snacks like this for the road trips is always comes in handy. So it's a package, and there's smaller packages, and there's six cookies in each mm -hmm. package, and they're so tiny. It smells like a like a just a regular plain sugar oh, cookie. It smells like something from a bakery. It smells nice. I need some milk. Next time, you need to add some milk to the. Oh, you got the milk candy right no, there. No, no, no. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, hopefully, we survive to the next one. We don't have to be hospitalized. Stay tuned for more adventures. Subscribe, like, and share. Ciao. Setting everything on the stove, and I just hear the. We're making a video, and the house has a fire behind us. Just you see a slow fire burning behind us? Reminds me of diabetes. Diabetes.